Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our crochet vlog, episode 18. Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our crochet vlog, episode 18. Welcome back to our returning viewers and hi to new viewers. Take a minute, introduce yourself in the comments below where you're from, what's on your hook, what are you up to? Um, I'd like to say a special thank you to some of our returning viewers. Uh, every week I limit it to five just to keep it a bit sensible. So this week I would like to thank uh, Melody from Melody Crochet. She has a really great uh, crochet vlog. I'll put it at the top of the screen. You can go check her out. And also, special thanks to Tabitha's Treasures. She has a lot of neat little things on there. She's always busy doing something. So I'll put that above as well. And I'd like to thank Kim and Mortessa. I love that name. That is like the coolest name. And Karen. So thanks so much for watching. And thanks for commenting and then taking the time to introduce yourself. I really appreciate that. We also have a Facebook group for whatever we're working on, whatever you're working on. You can post your pictures. There's a bunch of us on there. It's getting active now, which is like so exciting. So uh, feel free to join that. I'll put the link in the description box below. To find the description box, there's a little arrow pointing down underneath the video. So click that and it'll open up where I do all my typing. So that's where that is. So we're gonna start with whips. Oh, and I should also say, it's generally a crochet vlog, and I start with the crochet part, and then after that I digress into uh, stuff about Kenya. Mm. This week is going to be like the weather, these crazy rains we're having, so that'll be, there's a little blurb at the end of the video. So if you're into crochet, that's happening now, and at the end there's some stuff about Kenya. So, let's get started. We're going to start with whips. I have been working on, because it's been cold now, cold 24 degrees but cold my scrap plastic blanket which I'm really 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 loving I'll just scoot back to show you So this one, I'm really loving it. So how I started, I just started with all my scraps. Then I divided it into darks and brights, like my vibrant colors. And then I decided I was gonna do like one continuing dark color with a bright color on top to give it a bit of uniformity. And I'm really liking how uh, it turned out, or it's turning out. Uh, I think maybe I'll make it into a square, and then I put it on my bed, middle of the night, just to kind of see it, and it looks so fantastic. Like, it looks like, I don't know, it just looks so great. It looks like an old-fashioned, heavy bedspread. Like, I love it. So now I have to do about 18 more inches. And my yarn stash... Ugh. Let me show you. This is all that's left of my of my vibrance. I even added that's not vibrant. Uh, that's all that's left. So I've used all of my uh, dark colors. <laughs> Almost got me in the head. Uh, so I was like, what to do? So I'm gonna add two balls of yarn to keep the consistency of one dark yarn going through the whole thing. So, I don't know if it's a stash buster anymore because now I'm adding to it. But I'm so excited and this bucket, it was almost full. And now there's just like a puddle at the bottom. So I'm pretty happy about that. My other one, my other yarn is divided into light colors and pastels. So I'm gonna do the same for that blanket. I'm gonna make two, but that one's gonna have either a white or an ivory or a cream yarn going through the whole thing. 
with the pastel color on top. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. It's just half double, chain one turn, half double all the way back and forth with two strands of yarn. One of my friends, students, is wants to make one into a rug. So I think if you use three strands and half double, it would be thick enough, like stable enough to be on the ground. This is still a bit flexible. Love it. So three strands, I don't know, if, worth a try. Love it, I'm working on that when it's cold because that warms you up in a heartbeat. Uh, whips, my other whip is obviously the cal, which I'm not showing you. I purposely did not even bring it into the room. Uh, it's turning out really, really great. I've filmed it twice now. Um, the second time I filmed it beautifully, but I think I might have been going too fast. Like it doesn't look like it's beginner friendly, but then I'm like, is that shawl a beginner project? I don't know, but I think I went a bit quick. I don't know. I'm editing it anyway. And then I'll also be putting that one into left-handed. So if you're left-handed, you'll have your own version as usual. Doing that. Also, had these whip cards made. We all know I've been struggling with keeping track of my whips, the hook size, blah, blah, blah. Uh, like the idea of using an index card, but then also I know I won't keep track of them. They'll be like lost. So my next big idea, get them done business card size, and then they'll fit into one of those business card holder books. You know, those little, you know, where you can like flip through and look at all your business cards. So it'll be like, flip through and look at all your whips. And so I figure if they're cute enough, I'll use them, right? So I made five different ones, different colors, all the same on the front. Let me get me grasses. Uh, different colors so you can like pick the one that goes with your project. Uh, so just project name, pattern source, hook size, yarn, and notes. Uh, awesome. Uh, and then on the back, they all have different crochet sayings, which I love. They're so cute. So I just did them in my own font kind of thing. So crochet could result in overwhelming craft supply, hoarding, and enjoyment of time alone. Totally like that one. And that's green and teal on the front, or like Chartreuse. I love chartreuse. Um, and then the blue with orange. This one is Dear Diamonds, we all know who was really a girl's best friend. Yours sincerely, Yarn. And then the greeny one with the pink that says 10 things I want in my life yarn, more yarn, friends with yarn, a big house for all my yarn. Money for yarn, yarn, a husband who is okay with yarn, a big car to fit my van, a yarn room for my yarn, and number 10, yarn. So that's super cute. And then this one, the, the pink with the green. Your hook is never truly lost until you've checked your hair and your sofa. But then one of my one of my friends was like, oh, I should change that to cleavage. <laughs> so I think my next one, next time I have them made, I'll have it changed. Your hook is never truly lost until you've checked your hair and your cleavage. It makes sense, right? Well, I mean, for other people, it makes sense uh, that have cleavage. <laughs> okay, so that one. And then this one, orange with the teal. I never dreamed I grew up to be a super sexy crocheting lady, but here I am killing it. So that one's cute too. So these ones are now all available in the secret yarnery and they come in cute little packs. I just put like five of, of all of them in a cute little pack. So you have five of each different kind. Love those. Super cute, and thanks to being having so many kids, Magic Loom Elastics 
in my yellow color, my yarnery color, to hold them together. So that's super cute. Those just came yesterday, so I'm happy about that. Can't we? So cute. And I used one for the cow. I was like, oh, well, let me get one. Because it is quite cute to use if they're like cute and they have a nice little color and you know. But now I have to go buy the business card book thing. But I haven't actually left the house yet this week. It's Wednesday. And uh, we haven't run out of milk or bread or anything. So I've just been busy here. So next time I go, I'm getting a business card holder for these guys. Giveaway is going strong. That's amazing. I'm so excited. I think there's like more than a thousand uh, entries. I should actually check the right number for the March one and almost a thousand for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So that's exciting. That one is getting picked on Friday. So the cow's coming out on Friday, right-handed and left-handed, and we're picking a winner for the worldwide giveaway. Uh, they're all worldwide, but I needed to come up with a name for that one. So I'm excited about that. Also Friday, I'm going uh, to my kids' school to teach crochet to the older class, life skills, the life skills class, and their life skill is going to be crochet. So I think a couple of my yarnies are going to be coming with me. There's not that many kids. I think there's like 11 of them. One of them is my son. <laughs> He's excited, obviously. <laughs> so, oh yeah, so, finished objects. I'm going to be wearing my roadkill scarf just to impress him. That's the kind of cool mom I am. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you my roadkill bunny scarf. Let me get him. So, it's, yeah, I'm struggling with the length of it, but I think it's good. It's stretching, as crochet does. Oh, there's his ears. Let me hop up. Might not be pretty, but you'll see it. So you see, he's got his cute little head and his eyes. And I did his ears. So if they ever flip over, they're cute. Match his paws. And then the back. There he is. The cute little pom-pom. That pom-pom is made from silk yarn. I felt so bad. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm making a pom-pom out of my silk yarn. But it is literally ugh, dreamy. So dreamy. So that's finished object. That one is going to impress a bunch of 11 and 12 year olds. Cute. My little bunny. So that one is finished. So next on the list, lots of, uh, to answer some of your questions, like where's Kenya? Quick way to tell, now I'll move over. Looking at the content of Africa, you'll see the big lake. From the big lake, you will look towards the ocean that's right there, and Kenya is actually the country in between the big lake and the ocean, the Indian Ocean, actually. So that's where Kenya is. What were some other really good questions? I wrote them down, but of course didn't bring them. So I guess I'll have to answer them next time. Other thing, everyone, apparent, not everyone. That's right. Lots of people uh, are just admiring the yarn behind me. So I thought I'd give you a little tour of what's back there. So you'll know, because I don't really move it around too much. You'll be like, oh, that's the shelf for this. That's the shelf for that. So let's go and do that. So the bottom two shelves are always acrylic. They're the local acrylic and they're separated into the rainbow colors or the color spectrum, I suppose. Uh, so they're local acrylic. Local acrylic doesn't have too many uh, attributes. So they just call it chunky, but it's really nice obviously. Uh, it's soft. Yeah, I guess it's equivalent to Super Saver, but um, nicer. 
And we've made our own names for them, depending on what we want to call it, because you can do that when you have your own yarn shop. And we made swatches for each of them. My kids fiddle around with them. My kids like them the most, I think. Um, so you could just you could match up your colors as you're shopping. So that's the bottom two rows. And we have every good color imaginable that you can get here. They're like two bucks each, so they're very affordable. This shelf here, so from here all the way to here. Where is one out? These are all worsted weight chenille. So they're super squishy, super great. This would be, I think, similar to Bernat blanket, I think it's called, something like that. But um, we just call it worsted chenille. 100 meters, 100%, no, yes, 100 meters, 100% microfiber, 100 gram balls, size four thickness. We use like about a six millimeter hook. And these ones are $5. Oh, they're $5 if you are a um, Crochet Guild of Kenya member, or they're $6 if you're not. So those are delicious, and we have it in a rainbow of colors. Obviously, I like the rainbow. They also come, let me find another example for you. In these eyelash, it's eyelash chenille. So it's the same chenille, but it comes with a strand of um, eyelash. So you just crochet with both of those together. And it comes out with a really great texture. Oh, I can even show you it. Like this. So it's super knobbly. We got it to make uh, mermaid tails because it kind of looks like mermaid with, you know, algae. But really soft with a nice eyelash on it. Those are the same $6 or $5 if you are a member. Now on this shelf, let me check you can see it. Yeah, okay. So this shelf, all the way along, to here, well, to this part here, is all natural cotton. Which one is wrapped properly? Okay. So all those are natural cotton. They're 100% natural cotton, 180 meters, 100 grams. They're a size three thickness. And they are six dollars a ball or four fifty if you are a member. They're really great. This is the kind of yarn I'm using for my shawl cow. I'll try not to have to say the name again. Okay, now moving up. These ones to here, so just this one shelf. These are silver shine. So they are so soft and so delicious. They are 50% acrylic and 50% polyamide. 50 gram balls, 145 meters. So they're super lightweight. Uh, they're a size four for thickness. So it's about a six millimeter hook. So that is a 50 gram ball. Isn't that amazing? So soft, they have a bit of a, a bit of a fuzz to them, a bit shiny like that. So these are six dollars or five dollars if you're a guild member. So those are great. Those are just those are new. We just got them, and the colors are amazing. This is what I want to make my cable 
diary book cover out of. Not doing it yet. Calming down. Now up here, these are, these two here, so the cream color and the taupey color, are natural bamboo. They're amazing. It is the squishiest, most delicious yarn. Oh, it's really good. That was my little, this is one of my Ruana ponchos, by the way, in case you want to have a good laugh. That's, uh, yeah. That's 50 grams Ruana poncha with a six millimeter. That's not happening, but it's good for texture. That's what I tell myself. And they're 100% bamboo. Hundred and twenty five meters, fifty gram ball, a size two thickness. So these ones are seven dollars or six dollars for members. Only comes in two colors. This one, this is silk wool, these ones here. Twenty percent silk. 20% silk, 60% uh, wool, and 20% cotton. They're 50 grams, 100 meters, a size 2 for thickness. So they're 800 shillings a ball, or I mean $8 a ball, or $7 for guild members. And yes, that's another Ruana poncho. <laughs> in there, but it's a sample. So that sits up there. Now these, there's some back here, a bit hiding. But these, there's more of this ivory color. But I'll show you. This is pure bamboo. And they even come in zipper bags. That's how fabulous it is. So, let me bring one over. Dreamy, absolutely dreamy. So this is the softest ever, and it has an actual sheen to it. Like it actually is silvery. 100% uh, uh, pure bamboo, 125 meters, 50 grams, size two thickness. These are $8 or $7 if you are a guild member comes in a metallic gray or a pearly cream color. So those are great. Want to make like a tunic or something. Out of that, that's our sample ball. Up at the very top is thin chenille. Let me grab a ball. So this is thin chenille. It is actually thin. Oops, I'm leaning on the camera stand, sorry. So it's quite thin. It's 100% polyester, 50 grams, 250 meters, size three for thickness, so a three millimeter hook. They are $2.50 a ball, or $1.50 for guild members because I got them on sale. So we pass along the savings. Ugh. So that's that one. These ones are my silk. Which I love. Okay. Oh, these ones are good. So these ones are 50 grams, 120 meters, 32% silk, 68% cotton, size three, no, size two for a three millimeter hook. This is what I made my roadkill bunny from, but you can see how thin it is, but really nice to work with. So dreamy. 
I wanted to make that the shawl cal with it with peach for the body and then that gray for the oh peach for the body and gray for the edging. I thought that'd be so beautiful, but held myself back. So this here, this shelf, usually the whole thing, but I've snuck in this lately. This is usually all of our cotton bamboo, but we are almost completely out of stock. It has sold like hotcakes. So this is like a class favorite. Everybody really loves it. It's beautiful to work with. It's thick enough where you could use a five or six millimeter hook. Um, so it is. Sixty percent bamboo, forty percent cotton, hundred grams, hundred and forty meters, and it's a size three for thickness. So that is just really it's so it really has a satisfying heavy feeling to it. Let me cover up that bird. That bird is being so loud. So that one is the bamboo. This one is the baby cotton. So this one is baby cotton. It is 100% Giza cotton. I don't know what that means. I'm sure it's a place. But it is much, much softer than natural cotton. They're 50 gram balls and 105 meters. Beautiful. One of our ladies is making them into granny square, like a granny square blanket. Oh. So that feels just great. So these ones are $6 a ball or $4.50 for members. Now let's move down to the other side. Find a spot for you over there. So these ones are still the chenille. All the way to the end. These ones are all cotton. So these ones are mercerized cotton, 100%. They are a size 2 for thickness, 100 gram ball, 260 meters. Really, really nice. They have a bit, because they're mercerized, they have a bit of a sheen to it. So those are delicious. And they're in all of these colors here that entire colorway. They're $9 a ball or $8 for gift members. These ones here, these two, are cotton print. They're 100% cotton, 50 gram balls, 170 meters, size two for thickness. So you can use like a four millimeter hook. They're $6 a ball or $5 for guild members. And they come in both of these fabulous colors here. Those are great. These ones are cotton cakes. Do I have one out? No. So these are 200 gram cakes, uh, 430 meters, size 3 for thickness, you could use like a 5 millimeter hook, and they, uh, the color um, like self striping, they undulate. So they come in these four colors here for now. They came out with a couple more colors that are in my shopping cart, but I've yet to order them. Now these ones, from here all the way to the end, are Magic DK, self-striping. Let me show you this one. 
So they come in all those colors, which are fabulous. Um, really soft. They're 100% acrylic. 100 grams, 340 meters. And they're a size... I can't even read that. Size 3. But it seems quite thin for a 3. But anyway... I, all of my, I almost made the cow out of this one, too. I'm like, oh, but that'd be so pretty. But anyway, so these are all Magic DK. Up top here, oh, which one? Those are my scraps. Okay. So they have three colors, the red, the gray, and then this is kind of like a blacky purple. These are all Odette wool. So they're very textured. You can use like a six or even a seven millimeter hook with it. They're four dollars a ball, fifty grams, or uh, three dollars for guild members. I made, I used this to make my dog bed. Really great, really good for rugs, and they're still soft. Now, these ones here, these ones here, these are Lorena print. Oh, let me show you this other one. Well, that one's alive. They are 60, 55% cotton and 45% acrylic. 50 gram balls, 160 meters. They're really good for clothing. They're really squishy. So it's soft like cotton, but it's a bit fluffier. So it's not as heavy or scratchy as a plain cotton. And they have such beautiful colors. I love it. So these are $6 each or 500 for guild members. Love it. This is the colorway I started another Ruana Poncho in. I really like the color. Uh, these and this, well actually not this, this doesn't belong in. This belongs up here. This and this is all gumball. Gumball is, can be used for color pooling. So these ones are, where's my gumball? 100% premium acrylic, 230 meters, size three hook, no, size three for thickness, and like a four or five millimeter hook. So this is the one I made the color pooling uh, blanket out of. I used three balls of this and it worked out to be uh, 90, what was it, 99 stitches, for foundation. And it worked out really great. So all of these do color pooling down here. So that one can stick here. So below that is still the acrylic. And that's it. That's my backdrop. That's what you always see. So I hope that explains what's behind me. Lots of goodness. There's another yarn wall over there, but we'll do that another day. So Kenya updates, news, things of interest. The weather's been crazy here. It is supposed to be our summer. Maybe kind of getting into like a bit of fall, but not rainy season. We have two seasons. We have normal, which is perfect, like 28 degrees and sunny with some cute clouds on the horizon. And we have rainy season where it rains at night and a couple days through the year it rains in the day. And it's like, oh my gosh, it's raining in the day. It'll also start raining at four o'clock in the afternoon. That's fine. I mean, you're home by then or you could be home by then. So that's fine. Um, plants grow so fast. The grass, like everything is just green, which is probably why they call it the green city in the sun. But um, lately there's some storm somewhere. My husband, I don't know, my husband tried to explain it to me, but... There's a storm, and I guess it's affected, it's so big, it's affected Kenya. So we have been having rains here. Uh, not so much where I have been, 
Like I didn't get to film any actual like, you know, downpours for you. But I did film driving uh, in a different area in the rain. So I'm going to put that at the end of the video. I am also going to put some pictures uh, now of what it's like in Nairobi when it's raining. So the problem is there's no drainage. In the new parts, kind of there is, although not really, because we have a brand new highway and apparently that's flooding too. But the problem is your car will stop. So, and you have to know your, you have to know your potholes because you can't see the potholes and you can fall into a pothole. <laughs> it's not funny, I'm sorry. So you just, when it's raining a lot, you just have to kind of travel on roads that you have memorized the potholes and avoid them because you can't see them. You have to just know where they are in your head. So, which it does happen. Like you actually do memorize potholes automatically just to save your uh, U joints or whatever it is, the part of your car that holds on your tires because literally they take a beating in this country. So this is what it's like. There'll be patches of like where the road dips, where it'll literally be full or a river will be like going across the road. So no drainage, that's a problem. So this is what it's like. Um, so that's it for this talking bit. I'll edit and put the, the driving one at the, at, after the, at the end of this video. And if you have any questions about Kenya, I'd love to hear what you'd like to know about. Uh, leave it in the comments below. And what are you working on? What's on your hook? So the Cal's coming on Friday. Stay tuned. The winner for our first giveaway is also being announced on Friday. Stay tuned. And I'm teaching those kids on Friday. So I'm excited about that. So I just want to say a big hi to everybody. A big thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and stay hooked. Thank <laughs> you.